internet, I'm Kim, and I have been thinking. Uh, it's not very surprising, as you tend to think a lot. I have decided that I'm going to do some reviews of Doctor Who episodes. I am a big Doctor Who nerd. I'm definitely a Whovian. Uh, I have seen every episode, well, of the recent six series. Um, I've seen some of the 1963 ones, too. They're not as, they're not as good as these ones, but they're, they're, they're okay. But, uh, basically I've seen people do reviews of Doctor Who episodes and I thought, oh, I'll give it a try. Why not? Give me a hobby. But, so, I got my Tim Hortons right here and I'm ready to go. But first, there's probably people out there that don't know what Doctor Who is. So I'm going to do a quick, uh, quick little overview. Doctor Who is basically a British TV show that is awesome. Um, probably not enough information, is it? Mm, yeah. Doctor Who is about a 900-year-old alien called the Doctor. He's from the planet Gallifrey, and he travels around through time and space in this blue box called... It's a blue police box, and it's called the TARDIS. T-A-R-D-I-S. Stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. Uh, basically what he do does is he travels around to other planets, he can go back and forward in time, and he has all these cool adventures, and he, um, stops bad guys, stuff like that. Uh, it sounds kind of weird explaining it. It's definitely a show that you should watch. Uh, he always has somebody, a companion traveling with him. Uh, it's, when, uh, the way I'm explaining it is making it sound really stupid, isn't it? Uh... Well, when I had first heard about it, that was from some of my guy friends at lunches, and they would not stop talking about it. And to me, it sounded really like a really stupid idea for a show. It's weird. It sounds weird, right? But uh, I got sick a little while back, and I was off, off school for about a week, and I thought, oh, I might as well start watching it. That way I can actually have an opinion. I can actually say, oh, this show sucks, or oh, this show isn't that bad. And I started watching it, and I was like, oh my gosh, this show is amazing! But, uh, that's just me. Well, no, actually, it's a lot of people. A lot of people like Doctor Who. I, I highly suggest watching it. Uh, if you do start watching it, though, you need to at least start from the most recent six series. You need to start at the beginning with Chris Eccleston. Eccleston? Is, am I saying that right? I don't know. But... You need to start with those ones because it'll make a lot more sense in the uh, in later episodes because things tie in and they mention stuff that they mentioned in past episodes, which I guess is basically things tying in. Uh, but it it just makes more sense when you watch them all in order. Uh, oh, also another note: the reason that the show has been on since 1963 is because the Doctor has this neat trick, but he has this trick to keep him from dying. Whenever he's about to die. He regenerates, and basically it gives him an entirely new body, different personality. He's a completely different person, but he's still the doctor. He has all the same memories and stuff. Uh, basically, in real life, that's how they change actors, obviously. That's the excuse that they use. But it's definitely worth watching. Uh, I'm not going to start uh, reviewing them from the beginning with Chris Eccleston. I don't have anything against him. It's Rose Tyler. I can't stand her. I don't know why, but I hate her. I hate her. Like, with, with a burning passion. With the passion of a thousand exploding TARDISes. Oh, you'll get that in later episodes if you watch them. Oh, I just, I can't stand Rose Tyler. I, I don't, I don't know what it is about her. She just really irritates me. She's annoying. I just, bleh. I have watched them since the Chris Eccleston ones in order, and I just hated her, hated her. I cannot stress that enough. I hate Rose Tyler. No offense, Billy Piper, if you ever were to watch this. I don't hate you. It's not you. It's the character. I don't like her. Ah. Gee, like, the only thing I do like about her is her relationship with the Doctor, which I'm not going to get into because spoilers, but... She does have a really fantastic relationship with the Doctor, and I, I, like, I like the relationship between them, but I can't stand her. Can't stand Rose Tyler. Can't stand her. So I will be starting, uh, let's see, 
probably with, I can't remember what it's called, but with the Christmas episode with David Tennant and he meets Donna. So I will probably start there, uh, either that one or Smith and Jones, which I believe is the first episode of the third season, uh, where the Doctor meets Martha Jones. Uh, but I haven't decided which one I'll start at yet. I'm not going to start doing them in this video, just because I'm, one, I'm really hungry, and two, I haven't watched it in a little while, so I'll have to watch it and take notes. Yeah. But, yeah, that's the gist of it. Uh, let's see, checklist. Explain Doctor Who, showed you my Tim Hortons, uh, explain my burning hatred for Rose Tyler, told you about where I'm going to start. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. Uh, sorry if this video is crappy quality, it's on my laptop webcam, but I just got one of these ones. I'm not going to say which one it is because I don't want to stash the product, but it sucked. It, it was crap, so I'm going to return it. I just bought it today, returning it. I want my 30 bucks back. Simple as that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for me. Um, I will either put another one up tonight or tomorrow or the next day, sometime in the near future. And, oh, by the way, like the sweater? It's my dad's. Yeah, because I like it. It's warm. It's cozy. Why am I talking about a sweater on this video? That's, this has nothing, nothing to do with Doctor Who. I don't know. In the words of the doctor, Alan Z, don't blink, and I wish I was ginger. Bye. It's the end screen. Stick around for some outtakes. Doctor Who, it's been on since 1963, and the reason that they can keep it going for so long is that, oh, I probably should start there, actually. Doctor Who is about a 900-year-old alien called a Time Lord, and he is called the Doctor. Basically, he's from a planet called Gallifrey, and... Uh, my gerbils are being weird. Well, in the words of the Doctor, Alonzi, uh, I don't think I said that. Alonzi, 